Hello everyone, it's Montana, and today we're doing a very special video. We're gonna be taking my car uh, around the Nordschleife. Uh, this is the 2019 Toyota Supra, or as people call it BMW Supra because it has a BMW engine, it's produced by BMW, but it's still a Toyota. So uh, we're gonna be taking this car around the Nordschleife today, and I'm trying to spec it as close as possible to real life, Obviously not going to be perfect, but color-wise, tire-wise, wing-wise, uh, we're pretty much exactly there. And this is the car I got in May this year. Uh, beautiful car, awesome to drive. Uh, for the price, probably almost the best sports car you can get. Slightly biased. Um, but yeah, that's exactly how it looks in real life. And I also try to spec it in terms of performance as close as possible to what it feels like. I can show you this actually here. Uh, BMW says it produces 340 horsepower, but Toyota did something. Because they run someone, every time someone puts it on a dyno, it's between 380 and 400. So I put it just about in between. About 500 newton meters of torque, a little bit less, I guess. Uh, still a lot of torque for such a car. Um, which only weighs 1.5 tons with a 3 liter engine, as mentioned. You know, it has a 50 50 percent uh, front and rear weight balance, not quite like in the game, but a uh, very nice uh, design and awesome to drive with the lightweight and the well balanced car. Engine in the front, rear wheel drive, that's how it should be. Not the quickest over a quarter mile, but. Way more than quick enough, especially accelerating a straight line, it just has so much grip. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the stats you need to know. As I probably mentioned as well during the lap, uh, if you have any questions about the car, uh, let me know. And probably see some real life content with it, if I decide to take it to a racetrack. So I would say, enjoy the lap, and see you next time. So here we are. Is that a Supra? Yes it is. Is that a Nordschleife? Yep. So starting our lap. In a right hand drive car as it's probably a Japanese version of it. Although it's produced in Austria and made by BMW. Obviously left hand drive in real life for me. Be careful through the first couple of corners. Uh, not really any downforce on the car. The floor is quite well sealed but the rear ring just doesn't do anything, uh, it's obviously off the market as well. So have to be a bit careful, also on the brakes, it tends to wander a bit. Like the brakes are really good, stock brakes. But they wander a bit, um, it's not really like losing the back end or something, but... Can catch out a bit and you see just balancing the car. And this is what you also see on YouTube videos of the car online, that just the rotation is just insane with the 50-50 weight distribution. So you don't really have to use much steering input. Let's see, over the crest. Break early, but then early on the gas again because it just rotates so well. Driving on the sport hard tires, I guess, in game. As they're probably close to what I have on in, in real life. Can't really compare it, it's quite hard to do because we don't have racetracks in Switzerland and I haven't been at the Nordschleife yet. Definitely gonna happen next year though. Break early for this one, use a bit of throttle blip. Again, rotating nicely. The car can be a bit twitchy in game on exits, which uh, I haven't had that in real life yet, obviously with everything turned off. But maybe I haven't pushed it that hard yet. Well, let's lift a little bit on the brakes. Just about saving it. <laughs> okay. Uh, to save it all. Bit off the apex. Okay, get the rhythm again. At least next year. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. If you touch the brakes, the weight shift is quite insane in this car. And then when the front tire is gripped, the wheel just comes around. Careful here as well. That's just barely any steering input. Just thinking of the car around the corners really. That's the feeling I also got on the B roads in Switzerland. Just 
try to turn it in a little bit and then it just does the rest on its own. Obviously not the quickest car, you could probably buy quicker cars for less money, but probably the most fun car you can get below at 100,000 francs, pounds, euros. I just love the handling of it. So well balanced. Good power, you don't really need much more, especially in everyday life. I use it as a daily, so much more needed it's it feels very quick because it just has so much grip and low speed on traction uh, don't drive it too high I think the power van starts dropping again at six and a half K a lot of torque down low but 500 Newton meters again don't do a Nicky Lauda get it turned in nicely and on the power again little twitch, make sure to go direct early, otherwise you go in a different direction. Again, quite stable and high speed, you can feel the car moving, but it's not surprising you, it's very predictable. I say that now. So let's see, to the moon crew, that's probably not gonna be that brave. Brake at the end of the curve. Fifth gear, turn in and on the gas again. Obviously, nice without traffic, so in, in real life it's going to be a bit tougher, especially as I don't want to crash it. Late on the brakes here. Tempting to go for second gear, but it just has so much torque. And the gear shifts themselves just take a bit too long. It's not double clutch, it's still quick, but it's just not a double cup room driver. Which is a bit of a shame. And on the gas again. Not too quick to the carousel. It's not a low car. You can get over speed bumps and curbs quite easily. But at the same time it can bottom out a bit in the carousel if you like. Oh, let's invest a bit early in these corners. Then get the rewards on exits. As you can see, again, just sliding the car through the corners, but it's not like drifting, it's just perfectly balanced, like all things should be. A bit careful through here, as the rear end steps out again once you hit the brakes and the weight shifts to the front. Down here, beautiful. Little blip on the gas as well on entries. Have to remind myself that I'm sitting on the right side in the car. It's quite hard to touch if you're not used to that. to the YouTube corner. Oh, big slide for fans. Turning it nicely. A bit of understeer there actually at the uphill section. Probably here as well, so just take it easy. It may look slow, it may look quick, I actually have no clue. Feels on the absolute limit, I don't feel I can go that much quicker. After the jump on the brakes. Probably a bit too late, but you're not here for lap time. Your lap time is probably on everything under 8 minutes would be a great lap time. I think in real life people are doing like 7.50s. That'd be a great time to be. That'd be seeing game. We can take much more risks than under many traffic. So break early enough for this one. This is a very dangerous corner. Then don't go too wide. Beautiful. You can control it just so well. You can just place it where you want it to, and it just goes there. As I said, think it around the corners. Brake a bit carefully here. Very patient. And then you can go. You can go so much early on the gas than on other cars because of the way it turns around the corners and the rear wheel drive. Long straight coming. Uh, I obviously have 8th gear as well in real life, but I need to change the gearbox in this one, so I don't here. Top speed on 270 probably. I'm gonna test that on the Autobahn at some point as well. But what can I say, in real life, a very reliable car, easy to drive, very nice pedal feel as well. Uh, great steering feel, a bit hard to park, 
Uh, we can drive quite economically as well on the... Oh, let me focus for the hardest brake. So as you can see again, this car wandering a bit. Very controllable, it still needs you to be active, it's still kind of an old school car. It's just not, it's not just electronics and everything. Very nice through here, and I think that's going to be a 746. So, very nice lap time, under 8 minutes. About where it could be in real life. Uh, so yeah, happy with that, I hope you enjoyed that one. Maybe some more Gran Turismo content coming up. Probably some WRC content coming uh, more soon than that. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. And see you next time. If you have any questions about the car, feel free to ask in the comments. And I'll see you next time.